at nagbabalik ang NCAA Season 93 dito lang sa SNA. Lamang na, halftime na at lamang na ang LPU Pirates sa CSB Blazers with a score of 47-21. Alam niyo ba na kahit sobrang busy ng mga players natin sa training, meron din, nagkaroon din sila ng time para gawin ang aming challenge para sa kanila. Panoorin niyo ito. Ako si JV Mokon from the San Beda Red Lions. Ako si Marvin Jimenez from Mapuo University. Ako si Miko Teng ng Ariano Chips. Ako si Jerome Garcia at kami ang EAC Generals. Ako si Ryan Costello ng San Sebastian Golden Stars. At gagawin ko ang Marshmallow Challenge. Sa Marshmallow Challenge, may isang plato ng marshmallows na kailangan mong ilagay sa bibig. Ang may pinakamaraming masisiksik na marshmallows, ang panalo. Kapag puno na ng marshmallows ang iyong bibig, kailangan mong i-cheer ang iyong school. One, two, three, go! One, two, three, four, five, six. Sige pa, sige pa, sige pa. Sa tenga, sa tenga. Last, last, last. Sa tenga, sa tenga, sa tenga. Go! One, two, Ang nanalo ay ang EAC Generals with 15 marshmallows. Grabe! Palaban! Yan talaga ang masasabi kong NCAA Strong. At dahil dyan, ilabas niyo muna ang inyong mga cellphone or gadgets para sagutin ang ating question of the week. Sino nga ba ang player na gusto mong magpayong sa'yo kapag umuulan? Para sagutin niyan, just use the hashtag NCAA Season 93 or hashtag NCAA Strong at huwag kayong mahiyang ishare ito via Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook at abangan namin niya ni Megs and ni Marty. At magbabalik ang NCAA Season 93 dito lang sa SNA. Babalik tayo dito sa Bill O.F. Flying V Center for the live coverage of the NCAA Season 93. And at the half, the LPU Pirates with a 47-21 to 21 lead over the CSP Blazers showing us uh, their top form here in this game. Martin Avier po, kasama si uh, Mix Bustos and of course, Ms. Jelly May Obeña at courtside Mix. Uh, nung unang quarter natin, first quarter, medyo nakakasabay pa doon ng CSB. We ended at 16 to 11. Pero nung second quarter, courtesy of a balanced attack, itong LPU Pirates launching an onslaught and outscoring CSB 31 to 10 in the second. Alam mo, Marts, tingin ko nagsimula yan doon sa buzzer beat yun ni Wilson Baltazar. Kasi nung buong first quarter, nakakasabay ang CSB Blazers. Pero parang, I think that buzzer beater shot was the sign para medyo bumaba yung moral ng CSB and then true enough CSB outscoring LPU uh, sorry LPU outscoring CSB uh, 21 to 10 in the second quarter as we can see the halftime stats that has been the biggest issue or the biggest story of this game 20 turnovers translating to 28 turnover points para naman sa si LPU 
Ito na nga, 11 turnovers lang sa kanila, which is 5 para lamang sa CSB and field goal story on top of the coverage, Martin. We mentioned this. This has been one of the challenges of the CSB Blazers, limiting their opponents, you know, to field goal shooting. And they are the number 10 team or the last team to do so at 46.2 field goal shooting allowed. Meaning they allow their uh, opponents, opponents yes. to score a high number uh, of a field goals. Kaya naman, ang field goals ng LPU is at 44%. And uh, siguro the only bright spot for CSB right now is dumidikit sila sa rebounding story with 21 rebounds kumpara mo lamang sa 24 ng LPU. Of course, uh, the LPU Pirates talaga makikita mo. Nakaramdam sila ng sense of urgency nung dumidikit sa kanila yung CSB nung uh, first quarter natin. Pero aso, ano sa tingin mo, Mr. Game Time, yung kailangan gawin ng CSB for them to recover in the second half? Only one thing, just to play defense. You know, so far they've been really doing it. They just have to develop at the same time yung momentum nila from their defense to translate in their offense. Pero ngayon nga, it seems like they're having a hard time, but then never give up, never give in. Just remain patient, remain optimistic on your place, trust the system, yes. trust the place that is being given to you, and eventually, kahit pa isa-isa, mauhulog din yan. Before we go to the break, let's take a look at first our leading scorers. Naboa with 8 points, Lucho with 5, and Belica with 5 points for uh, the CSP Blazers. Sa kabila naman, balanced attack once again for LPU. Perez with 8 points, wala pang nakaka hit ng double figures sa kanila. Wilson Baltazar with two free pointers with a total of eight points in the first half. And of course, JC Marcelino contributing seven points as well sa ating pagbabalik. Second half action of this game between the College of St. Benigno Blazers and the LPU Pirates. Dito lamang sa SNA. And we're back here at the Field Oil Flying V Center. Start of the second half. Ng, uh, laro ng CSB Blazers and the LPU Pirates. First game on this Tuesday offering. Ikauna ng Agosto. Ngayong 2017. Time really flies. Dahil nasa ikaw, ikawalong buwan na po tayo ng taon. The LPU Pirates right now to begin the second half. With a 26 point lead. But Belica wants to do something about that. Scoring underneath right away. And besides their defense, I think CSB will need to go to the post more often. Because so far, most of their shots, most of their made baskets, come from the painted area. And they get a stop there. JV missing from mid range. Here comes Castor. Goes to Billy from the Eric left side. Billy. And Eric Billy with a three pointer from the corner. Five straight points para si CSB. Good signs for them. Down to a 21 point lead. Marcelino passing it to his brother. JV attacks the defense. Hey, High off the glass and in for JV Marcelino. No, as much as Benil is a running team, is a quick team. I think they have to slow the pace more often. Kasi ganun din kabilis yung LPU. If sabayan nila yung laro ng mga Pirates, so far it didn't work during the second quarter. If they can slow the pace down. Yes. Samantala, Carlo Young missing from three-point range. Here come LPU, Zuzu. With a drop-off inside and uh, that's a turnover for the Pirates. Vivo, perfect shot, perfect selfie. Coming from JV Marcelino, going high off the glass, even bumping Edward Dixon in the process for that basket. Castor, handing the ball for CSP, gives it off to Billy. Carlo Young, fakes, and he will not lose the ball. Piliolet with a fake, goes inside, try to drop it off to Belica. And that is an impact of a Mike Harry Zuzu. It looked like an open driving lane. Para dito kay Pili, pero nag-adjust siya doon. And he opted for that drop pass, pero turnover para sa CSB. Si Confidential naman si Gerard Castor daw. Ang uh, gustong magtayong sa kanya. Sino kaya itong si Confidential? Ito naman si RJ De Dios, sabi na gusto daw niya mag sa kanya yung twins para habang pinapayungan nila siya, tatanungin sila ng how to be yours <laughs> po. <laughs> how to be yours po. 
nung uh, Marcelino Twins to, Marcelino Twins, ayan. Pag, uh, gusto mong pagagawang uh, nung Marcelino Twins para payungan ka, but back to a 27-point lead here for the LPU Pirates, Dixon. Missing that short, J. Pero mananatili ang bola sa CSB. Napoa entering the game, replacing Carlo Young. He will start to play Billy from the baseline. Leads closer, Eric Billy missing that shot. Out that pass, JV Marcelino finishing on the break. A touchdown kind of play para dito kay JV Marcelino. Saktong sakto yung outlet pass sa kanya. Here's Napoa. Oh, losing the ball again. Back outside to Ayaay. Top of the key three. Mintes para kay Jesper Ayaay. Belga will save it to the wrong guy. Zuzu fouled underneath by Gerard Castor. And duty foul pa kay Gerard Castor. Kundi, mapopolsarize na naman itong defensa ng CSP. But then just good intentions for him. No harm done. No intentionally harm done. Duty foul lang para kay dito kay Gerard Castor. At the free throw line right now, Mike Harry Zuzu. One out of four so far in the game. He's been struggling from the line. Luchu on the bench right now. He dishes in Asabay. Yeah, Coach T.Y. Tang with Mike Harry Zuzu, but they uh, get the offensive board. Ibanez. Ball slip. Katuyak naman. From the middle. Zuzu skying for the offensive rebound. But Dixon will retrieve it for CSP. Naboa. Crossover means closer. Unique Naboa scores in the pull up jumper. Unique, the unique. What a unique type, type of play for him. I thought he was going to set it up, but then just remained patient with that open jump shot. Right. Raymar Kaduyak. CSB cannot afford to trade baskets with LPU if they want to come back in this game. 29 point lead for the Pirates. Here's Castor. Defended by Raymar Kaduya. Goes to San Juan. Eight seconds to shoot. Naboa. Four seconds. Naboa Paren. That's another turnover for the Blazers. Then cinco turnovers na dito sa ating laro. Is that jumper earlier for a week or unique Naboa? Got answered, of course, by that drive from Ray Mark Aduya. That beats us to another timeout on the floor. Happy you still in the lead by 21 points, 57 to 28. Balik action tayo dito sa NCAA Season 93. And uh, despite the efforts of the CSP Blazers so far, eh, tinapa, tinatapatan sila dito ng LPU Pirates, which is why the lead still stands at 29 points for LPU. As you can see on your screens, the baby bees, CJ Perez, so far with 8 points, all in the first half. Luchu entering the game. And Mike Harry Zuzu coming out for LPU. Kaduya gives it to Perez for three. Malakas for CJ Perez. The store will give it to Naboa. Wala rin yung dress ni Unique Naboa, but Dino San Juan also missing the follow up. 
Luchu misses on the second attempt. He will get the ball back. Mananatili ang bola dito sa, uh, sa CSP Blazers. Yung mga point blank opportunities na ganun for Clement Luchu, dapat hindi mo na yung pinapalagpas. Because it is rare that you get those kinds of opportunities. CSP unable to capitalize in that sequence. Pastor with a spin. The reverse is no good. Mananatili ang bola sa kanila with five seconds on the shot clock. Baltazar will enter the ball game for Ibanez. The five for CSB, Naboa, Luchu, Santa Maria, Castor, and Dino San Juan. Naboa will start the play. See San Juan. Oh, goes inside to Luchu. Short J. No good. Castor will get the ball back. The reverse is good for Jared Castor. Not giving up on that play. As much as Lucho had an off shot, Gerard Castor found a way to get it back for his team. Hard earned points para dito sa CSB Blazers. Kaduya kick out to Tansinko. Mentes Lucho with the board. We'll get it to Naboa. Here comes CSB. Naboa pull up Jay. Oh, he rattles it in. Alakiwa itang ang ginawadun. The unique Naboa. Correct, pull up jump shot, three on two break. He has that license, he has that green light. And again, Vinil gets the ball back. Naboa getting it inside to Luchu, but Luchu couldn't finish. Tansiko tapping the ball, Castor will get it. Possession goes to the CSB Blazers. With 12 seconds to shoot, Jeffrey Santos in the ball game for LPU. Unique Naboa right now, only guy in double figures for CSB with 12 points. He has the basketball right now against Jeffrey Santos using the screen of Luchu. Luchu on the roll, and Luchu gets fouled underneath. Pero sabi ng ating mga referees, the foul was down low as the baskets will not count. Sayang, yun na yun. Pero okay lang, importante. The possession will be back to CSB Blazers. Back-to-back -back tough games for uh, CSB. Of course, their previous game was against San Beda, defend or the defending champions. Ito naman, they're going against the undefeated team, LPU Pirates. And after today, on Thursday, Kaya yun, Martin. Uh -oh. Ikaw, Chammer. Ikukol niyo yung uh, NCAA on tour against Letran. Pero, good news for them. O out of two pa yung home team so far. Okay. Sa ating NCAA on tour. Let's see if they could, uh, you know, continue that streak on Thursday. 25-point lead for the Pirates with 3 minutes, 20 seconds remaining. Baltazar Mentes Salabas, Batancinco right there for the putback. Pirates, despite leading by 27 points, still continuing their pressure defense. Naboa, pull up Jay, Malagas. Under four minutes left, ito sa ating third quarter. And the turnover for the Pirates. Timeout here for Coach T.Y. Tang. They are down by 27 points. We'll be back for more of your NCAA action. Balik tayo dito sa Phil Oriflang's V Center for the coverage of the NCAA season 93. Medyo napatigil ako doon. Na-distract ka eh. Na-distract ako. Wait lang, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, composure. Of course, beautiful faces all around the arena right now. I wonder who they are supporting. Nag-wonder din ako kung sino siya nakaguan nila. Nag-cutting classes ba ito? Oo, nag-cutting classes. May mga kahuli ba sa inyo? Pero siyempre, pag nandito ka na sa Phil Oil Flying V Center, eh, dapat transform na yung energy. Kasi yes. siyempre, with all the drums, the atmosphere, college basketball, 
It's good to be back in the NTA after a week-long break. Siyempre nga, dahil nga nung uh, bagyong koryo. Pero ngayon, sunny weather na. Sana wala nang bagyong dumaan para tuloy-tuloy ang bakbakan sa NCAA. Tama nga dyan, Biggs. Siyempre, kakabalik lang natin. Tatlong matitinding laban ng uh, inyong haabangan. Una itong uh, CSB versus LPU. Pangalawa, Arellano Letran. Pangatlo, Perpetual. San Sebastian sa Mandala. Puntahan natin ngayon si Jelly Mayo Benya. Jelly? Yes, Martin. Slowing down the pace of Lyceum Pirates this second half. Yan ang sabi ni Coach Charles Chu kanina. Nag-frustrate siyang sinabi ito kanina dahil dahil kailangan nilang makahabol at bawasan ang turnover. Back to you, Martin and Nick. Thank you uh, so much, Jelly. It's coming from the CSB side of things. Let's see if they could, you know, make it at least a uh, decent lead as Baltazar hits one again, upping their lead to 27 points. San Juan, with this again, mula sa labas. Under two minutes remaining here in the third quarter, Perez goes to Tancinco. And that's a foul on Matt Johnson. Matthew Johnson, one of the new guys. Tatlong taon sa Team B, itong Ma si Matthew Johnson makes, and right now he's being uh, given an opportunity for Coach T.Y. Tang. Spencer Preta also entering the ball game. Dalton Cinco at the free throw line, misses the first. And right now what LPU is doing right is that they're not letting up on their defense. It's important to score for Coach Tobex Robinson, even though they're up by big. Ano bang mat ito? 62 and 34. Hindi importante yan. Ang importante na sa kanil just to remain, you know, their defensive presence, yung kanilang energy on their offense and their defense. Because right now, the confidence is just really with them. Happy you really showing why they're the number one team in the league right now. Leading by 28 points. That's 28 like points. Like manual subtraction. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Naboa now. Pull up Jay from the three-point area. Wala. Perez, tumatako. Pinigay sa labas. Balik kay Perez. Spin move, jumper, CJ Perez, Mintes. Johnson with a rebound. We will go on the break. San Juan unable to handle that pass. Preta retrieving the ball. Baltazar from the outside. Wilson Baltazar. Nagaramin na dito mula sa tres. His uh, third three-pointer mix of the ball game. See that play again, Spencer Preta. Finding Baltazar for that three-point bomb in transition. In talaga yung mga masasakit eh. After a turnover or after a missed shot in transition. Pag mga fast break, three-point shot pa. Very effective itong si Wilson Baltazar. Finding the right places at the right time. Biggest lead of the game, 31 points. Gusto pang dagdagan yan again. Wilson Baltazar! Back-to-back hits from the outside! Three-pointer after three-pointers, Wilson Baltazar. No sweat, walang kahirap-hirap. Automatic, ikasamuna is Wilson Baltazar. Preta, heat check for LPU. With that three-pointer from a Wilson Baltazar, or with that three-pointer, they now have the biggest lead of the game. Doble, ang score dito, 68-34. Luchu missing from the inside. Four seconds left. Perez spins. Perez spins again. Kicks it back out. At maubusan sila ng oras dito. But another onslaught for the LPU Pirates to end the third quarter. Inoble na po nila ang score dito. They're leading by 34 big points against the CSP Blazers. 68 to 34. Sa ating pagbabalik po. Uh, fourth quarter action. Ito ang ating first game on this Tuesday offering. Wag kayong alis. Magbabalik ang SNA.